In this example, we have a boat crossing a river, and a boat aims straight across a river with a velocity of 8 meters per second to the east. If the river flows south at 6 meters per second and is 120 meters wide, how long will it take to cross? So here we have Mario, he's going 8 meters per second. The current is going south at 6 meters per second, and the width is 120 meters. The question is, how long is it going to take Mario to go across? And it's important to draw a reasonable diagram, and that's what we've done here. And what you've noticed is I've drawn it a, the two velocities here, tip to tail, and we can see the resultant velocity in red, but we're not asked to find this. The distance the boat actually travels from the viewpoint from someone on shore, which is Luigi here, is the red dashed line right here. Notice that it is parallel to the red vector resultant. And so what Luigi is going to see Mario do, instead of going straight across like that, because it's going to be pushed down by the current, Mario is going to be going across the river something like that. And we can see the red dashed line is as of greater distance than the black dash line. But we do not know this distance. So we're going to have to use a different method. We're going to use the 120 meters and the velocity of the boat, which are both parallel to each other. And because it's non-accelerating, we can use velocity equals the change of distance over the change of time. And remember, we're looking for time, so we're going to isolate time. So we're going to multiply both sides. We're going to do two steps in one. Multiply both sides by t over v. And what we notice on the left side, the v's cancel out. And on the right side, the t's cancel out. So we're going to end up with our equation t equals d over v. And now we can put in our numbers. Distance is 120 meters. And the velocity is 8 meters per second. So we have 120 meters over 8 meters per second. Plug those into our calculator, and we have 15 seconds. So it's going to take Mario 15 seconds to get across the river. And we're just going to double check our, our units. And so we've got m right here is m over 1, and m over s is right here. And because this is a division with fractions, we're going to change it to a multiplication. So m over 1 is right here, and m over s changes it to s over m. And then what happens is, is the two m's cancel out, leaves us with s, and so more than likely we've done this correct. So for a distance of 120 meters with a boat going 8 meters per second and the velocity of the current, of the river current, is 6 meters per second, it's going to take 15 seconds for Mario to get across the river.